I skate forward like this, he's just going to smack up on the way. All right? What I need to do is get my body in between him and the block. That way, the knee can instant go through my body, like through my legs, not between them, like physically through them. No. no. Right? He has to go around my body, which means he's more likely to hook me, trick me, something like that, do raw penalty. So, I'm going to skate in. Wait a little, don't skate, attach the puck. Okay? The puck stays in front of you the whole time. So we're gonna skate again. Puck stays in front, away from him, in front of your body the whole time. Okay? It's gonna be a little bit weird because you're gonna skate in and you're gonna have to shift to your side so that way he doesn't just smack the puck off the front of your stick. And when would we not want to use a mohawk? So for instance, really long here. Dylan. Dylan's right here. This is what we call the danger zone, where you're about a stick length away from the boards. This is where you never, ever want to turn your back on somebody. Because if I turn my back on him and he cross-checks me or hits me from behind, I have enough time to fall like that and go head first into the boards. Okay? I've done it, not fun. So, if you're this close to the board, you don't have time to bend over all the way, you just get smushed. This is safe. This, very dangerous, not good. So, we never ever want to turn our back when we're about that far away from the board. Never want to do that, because then you just get close and fall into the wall. Okay? Make sense? 